the way we start that experiment, we inoculate bacteria in the area where there is no drug. They're happy. They grow. They, uh, they have enough food. And they start propagating forward. At one point, though, they reach the boundary where now th uh, they need to move into an area that have enough drug to kill them. Okay. They want to go there because there is food, okay. but they cannot because every time they try, they get killed by the drug. Okay. At that point, without evolution, nothing would have happened. Okay. For the bacteria to move forward towards uh, and be able to grow at this higher drug concentration, they need a very specific change, mutation, in the DNA, in the genomes, in the genes. Okay. The chance for that mutation to occur is very slim, maybe one in a billion. Okay. But because we have many, many bacteria uh, trying to do that, more than a billion, then one or a few of them, by chance, would acquire that very unique rare mutation that would allow them to grow and penetrate into this condition where the drug concentration is higher. It is only that bacterium and its progeny that would be able to enjoy the food at that new region, and they would take over the population. And now we have a new population of, again, billions of bacteria, but all of them are now resistant to the drug. Okay. Now they grow, they propagate forward, and they reach another step. Now the drug concentration is increasing to tenfold higher. Again, it's the same game. We are looking at the bacteria, looking for a very specific change to the DNA, to the genes that would allow them to grow in this higher drug concentration condition. The chance for that, again, is one in a billion. But again, they win by the numbers. There are more than a billion cells on this plate. And some of them, even just few, would be able to mutate and grow and be able to penetrate uh, into this yet higher drug concentration. And this process keeps uh, going and we're just going to see how far can they reach and can they actually go into a hundredfold and maybe even one thousand fold the drug concentration. So what we see in that experiment, we see evolution happen in action in front of our eyes. What is evolution? Naturally, when the bacteria replicate the DNA, from time to time they by chance make a mistake in replicating the DNA. These mistakes that change one letter in the DNA, in the genes of these bacteria, we call these mit mistakes mutations. These mutations appear by chance. Many of them have no effect or even are bad for the bacteria. Okay. But a very specific change can actually allow the bacteria to grow at higher drug concentration. Okay. Many of these changes appear all the time, but when the bacteria reach the point where they encounter the higher drug concentration, then only this rare, unique one cell that got this unique mutation that allow it to resist the drug, only it would be able to grow and divide while the rest are dying, and it would take over the population. And now we are dealing with a new population, again, of billion cells, descendant from this one individual that by chance got uh, a specific mutation that allow it, allow it to resist the drug.